To do the calculation of the pressure ratio of the system, you need to know the charge pressure of your equipment and also the inlet pressure of your equipment. And here I will differentiate two pressure ratio. The first one is the global pressure ratio that is calculated based on the discharge pressure of your final stage. So if you have five stages of compression, you will get the discharge pressure of the stage five and you will divide that by the inlet pressure of the stage one. So you will get the inlet condition of your compressor, you will get the discharge condition of your compressor and you will divide the pressure at the last stage by the pressure of the first stage. And both pressures must be in absolute pressure. So it can be PSIA with PSIA, it can be Barre with Barre. What is important here is that both of them are on absolute pressure. And the absolute pressure, just to remind you, is the summing up of manometric pressure plus the barometric pressure. Barometric pressure is a function of the elevation of your site. As much as elevated it is, lower will be the barometric pressure. On the other hand, the manometric pressure is the pressure that you read most often in the manometer or in the pressure transmitter of your system. It is a, differ a difference between the absolute pressure minus the barometric pressure. Once you calculated the global pressure ratio to find the interstage pressure ratio, you need to apply the equation where the global pressure ratio powered by the 1 divided by the number of stages will give you the interstage pressure rate. With this result, you are able to define the discharge pressure of each stage. For instance, you will get the pressure at the suction to so the pressure inlet multiplied by the pressure ratio will give you to you the discharge pressure of the first stage. You will get the charge pressure of the first stage multiplied by the pressure ratio. You will get the discharge pressure of the second stage. To exemplify that, we can see the calculations performed in the article. In the ebooks case study, we have a pressure discharge condition of 15 bar A and a inlet condition of 2 bar A. So the global pressure ratio is 15 divided by 2, that gives to us 7.5 and it is dimensionless. And because we have two stages of compression evaluation in this case, we'll, we'll get the results and do the root square of this number. That will lead to 2.7386. To define the discharge pressure of the first stage of compression, we will get the inlet condition as 2 bar A multiplied by the 2.7386 and that will lead to 5.48 bar A at the discharge of the first stage of compression. Important to mention that vendors or manufacturers do the calculation of the pressure ratio based on the nozzle conditions of the equipment. So they will get the discharge pressure at the discharge nozzle and the inlet pressure at the inlet nozzle. So when we are doing the specification of your compressor, most often what we specify is the suction pressure before the isolation valve or at the battery limit of the equipment and we ask for the discharge pressure at the battery limit of the equipment. And that is very, very important because between the battery limit here in this case and the discharge nozzle of the equipment, we have an air cooler, we have a discharge block valve and that will add pressure drop to your system. 
In this case, if you want to have 15 bar A at the battery limit of the equipment, the pressure at the discharge of the equipment must be higher because the a higher pressure, less the pressure drop will give the 15 bar A at the battery limit of the system. Be aware of that when you are dealing with the process data sheet of your equipment.